So how do you achieve work-life balance? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you 12 tips on how to realistically achieve work-life balance, including why doing so in today's world is so important. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Ryan Court, and this is Ryan Reflects. On this channel, I share with you actionable personal development content, as well as my thoughts on trending topics and common life experiences. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, throughout any point in the video, make sure you check out the notes and links in the description below. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, is work-life balance even real? Is it a lie or a myth or what is it? And honestly, it's not a lie, it's not a myth, it's real. And in today's crazy busy world, I know that we're on that kind of rat race, right? To the end, go, 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 go. But that's why it's so important to find ways to best achieve work-life balance. And it is a balance. At times, it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of effort, but it's not a myth, it's not a lie. It's something that you can achieve. So why is work-life balance important? Well, do you live to work or do you work to live? For most of us, it's the latter, right? We work so we can go ahead and have a strong personal life and spend time with family and friends, but also thrive professionally. And to be honest, work-life balance, well, it's a constant cycle that will never be perfect, but is maintainable when the right steps are taken. With this in mind, here are 12 tips on how to achieve a strong work-life balance. First and foremost, set SMART goals. And I'll link to a video above that I actually did on setting SMART goals, but you gotta do this for both your personal and professional life. Setting SMART goals allows you to really focus in on what is important to you personally, what's important to you professionally, and how are you going to tackle those goals? How are you going to reach those achievements and accomplish what you want to accomplish in your life? Next, prioritize and plan ahead. What are your most important goals or your most important mindsets and habits and things that you wanna achieve? Get those things done right away, each and every day, each and every week, each and every month. Of course, and this is a tough one, learn to say no. It's not easy to say no, but when you say no, you free up time for saying yes at things that align with what you want to achieve and accomplish. Stop adding more to your plate just to add more to your plate. Don't do it. It's a rabbit hole that you don't wanna go down because all of a sudden, you're not achieving and accomplishing things that you want to, and it really doesn't help your work-life balance. Next, take the time to drop activities that really drain your time and energy. We all have them in our schedule. We all have habits or certain things that we've always done, but why are we continuing to do them? What activities could you get rid of? Maybe it's binge watching Netflix till you know, 11, 12 o'clock at night instead of going to bed. Hey, Going to bed a couple hours earlier, probably a lot better for your work-life balance, probably a lot better for your physical and emotional well-being, and of course, your energy level the next day. And for those super busy people out there, especially my busy parents, I got two little ones myself, delegate those mundane tasks if at all possible. Whether it's cooking or cleaning or hiring somebody to help support you and your family, if you can financially do so, great. Maybe it's tapping on the shoulder of a family or a friend or a neighbor, Delegate whenever possible. And I know that's not easy, and I know there are a lot of mundane tasks we all have to get done, but prioritize, delegate, work together with your spouse, do whatever you can so that you have a good work-life balance. Next, be active. Get out, go to the gym, go for a walk, join a local sports group. I mean, if you have to invest in some kind of content that you can work out from home, great. If you can get out to the gym and spend some time just to clear your head, awesome, but that helps you re-energize over time and helps balance out all the stress in your life. I'm a huge advocate of practicing mindfulness. Pray, meditate, take some alone time to just breathe and think and just be. There's a lot going on in this world. And if you don't take the time to be present, you're gonna miss out on a lot that's going on. It's really gonna help you get out of your own head and remain more balanced. And it's virtually impossible to maintain a strong work-life balance if you don't set appropriate work boundaries. Nobody should be able to reach you at certain times of the night and nobody should expect that you'll answer at certain times of the morning. And maybe throughout the day, you have certain times set up 
where you can best communicate and have meetings and you know face-to-face -face interaction but it's impossible to achieve a balance and have a personal life if you don't turn it off and set boundaries and speaking of boundaries make sure you schedule me time time for you time for you to sit there and do something that you enjoy that you love or maybe it's just time for you to relax go and get a massage go for a walk enjoy a hobby that you actually want to do and that's hard with young kids or a family or you know a lot of demands on your plate but you have to schedule it you got to set it it's really important to do so and as you embark on this endless journey right work-life balance is an endless process communicate the importance of it to your family your friends your colleagues and those that are in your network because at the end of the day when people understand that that's part of your goal in life is to achieve a strong work-life balance they'll help you do so right there are a lot of things in this world that you can't control but if you articulate what you'd like to achieve a lot of times they'll help you do so if at all possible find somebody that helps you remain accountable maybe an accountability buddy somebody at work that works just as hard as you but also knows that you need to turn it off or maybe your spouse is like hey i'm gonna let you know and i've seen you really really burning the midnight oil and i need you to take a break it's really important to find somebody to help you hold yourself accountable because at the end of the day it's easy to lose focus and just remain entrenched in your work and this last one's my favorite do one thing that you love every single day life is a giant balancing act and if you're not able to find joys in little things and doing something you love maybe it's having a cup of coffee on the front porch and watching the sunrise maybe it's going for a walk around the neighborhood maybe it's making a phone call to a friend or a colleague and just checking in maybe it's taking five minutes to read a book to your little one maybe it's watching you know a quick instagram video that makes you laugh and you just love that curator do something you love every single day because life is too short not to enjoy it so what steps are you taking to achieve a strong work-life balance let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for my next video where we can reflect and grow stronger together